thermal energy stores by kscience.com. This here is a solid, and you can see that by the way that I've drawn the particles. And this object has energy in its thermal energy store. And as you can see, this object has energy in its thermal energy store. This object is currently 18 degrees Celsius. Its temperature is 18 degrees Celsius. Let's now describe thermal energy stores in terms of the energy stored in the object's particles. An object with energy in its thermal energy store means that the particles inside the object are vibrating. These lines show the level to which the particles are vibrating. So this represents the particles vibrating in a solid. So the particles have energy in their kinetic energy store. They are vibrating on a fixed point. So if an object has energy in its thermal energy store, that means particles of the object are vibrating. They have energy in their kinetic energy store. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. What I'm drawing here is a radiator. The radiator is going to transfer energy from its thermal energy store to the thermal energy store of the object. So we're now visualizing the kinetic energy store in the particles. And when the object is heated, energy will be transferred into the thermal energy store of the object, but that will be spread across the kinetic energy store of the particles. So after some time, the object's temperature is going to increase from 18 degrees Celsius to 22 degrees Celsius. This means there is more energy in the object's thermal energy store. The object's temperature is going to increase from 18 degrees Celsius to 22 degrees Celsius. But what does this mean to the kinetic energy store in the particles? So at 22 degrees Celsius, the object has a higher temperature. That means there is more energy in its thermal energy store. So the particles will therefore have more energy in their kinetic energy store and will vibrate on a fixed point more so than at a lower temperature. So the particles will therefore have more energy in their kinetic energy store and will vibrate on a fixed point more so than at a lower temperature. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. So as there is more energy being transferred from the radiator's thermal energy store into the object's thermal energy store, the object's temperature will increase. So the object is now at 26 degrees Celsius, which means there's going to be more energy in the object's thermal energy store. And that, in turn, means there is more energy in the particle's kinetic energy store. The particles are vibrating more in a fixed point in this solid. So now we put this object into a four degrees Celsius fridge. Energy is going to be transferred from the thermal energy store of the object to the thermal energy store of the surroundings and the fridge. So at 12 degrees Celsius, the object's thermal energy store will be lower than before. This means that the particles are going to have less kinetic energy in their kinetic energy store. So they'll be vibrating less. So energy is transferred from the thermal energy stores of an object with a higher temperature to the thermal energy stores of an object with a lower temperature. So if an object has less energy in its thermal energy store, the particles in that object will have less energy in their kinetic energy store and will be vibrating less than in objects with a higher temperature. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow.
Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Visit kscience.com for more free videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.